Hey there, explorers. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. Today, we're about to embark on a fascinating journey into an age-old adage that's been a beacon of comfort and motivation for countless individuals in challenging moments. You know the one. When God closes a door, He opens a window. It's like a comforting hug for the soul, reassuring us that even in our darkest hours, there's a glimmer of hope waiting for us. But have you ever paused to ponder the origins of this profound saying? Well, you're in for a treat because in this video, we're diving deep into the roots of this wisdom, exploring its biblical connections and uncovering the rich tapestry of meaning it weaves into our lives. The saying, when God closes a door and opens a window, originates from the Bible, specifically from a story in the book of Jeremiah. In this biblical account, God closes a door to keep the prophet from getting into a situation that wouldn't have been good for him. This illustrates the idea that sometimes, when one opportunity or path is closed off, there might be another one waiting for us. Moreover, Jesus often used symbols like doors and windows in his teachings to convey deeper meanings. In the Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 9, Jesus describes himself as the door. This metaphor suggests that through a connection with him, people can find salvation. So, the concept of closed doors and open windows isn't just a saying. It has biblical roots that highlight the guidance and opportunities provided by God in different aspects of our lives. Have you ever wondered about the deeper meaning behind the saying, when God closes a door, he opens a window? This uplifting proverb holds diverse interpretations, yet its essence is deeply rooted in the teachings of the Bible. Delving into the scriptures, we find guidance in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, where Jesus encourages us to ask, seek and knock. This passage reassures us that God responds to our prayers, even if the response unfolds in ways we may not anticipate. This proverb serves as a poignant reminder that God's plans often transcend our comprehension. At times when we encounter closed doors in our lives, it might be a crucial part of His divine design. The idea is not just about the presence of obstacles, but about trusting that, in His wisdom, God is orchestrating a larger plan for our well-being. Therefore, this saying encourages us to maintain faith and hope, understanding that even when faced with challenges, God may open unexpected windows of opportunity or guide us towards a path we had not initially considered. It is a message of resilience, trust, and faith in the unfolding journey of our lives. How should we respond when God closes a door in our lives? Here are some important strategies to consider, each offering a way to navigate through such moments. 1. Trust in God's timing. When faced with a closed door, avoid questioning its closure. Instead, trust in God's timing, acknowledging His profound understanding, even when reasons may be unclear. Embrace the idea that there might be deeper reasons or a larger plan at play beyond your current understanding. Trust in God's timing involves recognizing His guidance in the timing of events, enabling you to approach closed doors with faith and patience. As you move forward, clarity may emerge, revealing the purpose behind closed doors and aligning you with God's intended plan for your life. 2. Look for the open window. During moments of disappointment, focus on finding the open window. Recognize that God, in control, guides you toward paths aligning with this plan. See closed doors, not as setbacks, but as opportunities for growth. Trusting His guidance opens possibilities, viewing disappointment as a step toward something better. God's influence acts as a caring guide, leading to hopeful avenues you may not initially see. Face disappointment with an open eye for unexpected, fulfilling paths guided by God's wisdom. 3. Find strength in prayer. During moments of disappointment, turning to prayer is beneficial for comfort and strength. Engaging in prayer not only brings solace, but also empowers you to face challenges with unwavering faith. Seeking solace in prayer creates a space for inner peace, aiding navigation through tough times. Prayer is not just about expressing concerns. It's an opportunity to connect with a higher power fostering belief in better things ahead despite setbacks. 
This hopeful outlook, nurtured through prayer, served as a guiding light, instilling confidence to persevere. In times of disappointment, prayer becomes a steadfast practice, providing comfort, strength, and a pathway to renewed hope. 4. Embrace new opportunities. Closed doors in your life serve as invitations to explore new possibilities. Instead of letting fear hinder you, see each closed door as a chance to venture into unexplored territories and discover paths you haven't encountered. Embrace the idea that behind every closed door lies an opportunity for growth and discovery. This perspective opens you to the excitement of exploring the unknown and finding unexpected treasures. Consider closed doors, not as barriers, but as gateways to fresh opportunities waiting to be uncovered. This mindset shift empowers you to overcome hesitations, step boldly into uncharted territories, and embrace the potential for positive change beyond closed doors. Use closures as stepping stones for a journey of exploration and self-discovery. 5. Seek support from loved ones. During tough times, rely on your support system by sharing your feelings with loved ones, seeking their prayers and guidance. Their encouragement and perspective are invaluable for navigating challenges. This bond fosters understanding and support, reinforcing that you're not alone in facing adversity. Actively involving your support system becomes a meaningful part of your journey, enhancing resilience and the ability to overcome obstacles together. Lastly, reflect on what you've learned. Closed doors often provide valuable lessons for personal growth. When facing such situations, allocate time for thoughtful reflection on the experience and the lessons it offers. Consider how the challenges encountered contribute to your overall development. Reflecting on closed doors provides insights into strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement, laying a foundation for personal growth. Embracing these lessons enhances self-understanding, cultivating resilience and adaptability, vital elements in your journey toward personal development. By incorporating these strategies into your response, you can navigate through the challenges of closed doors with resilience, faith, and a positive outlook toward the new opportunities that may be waiting for you. The teachings in the Bible convey the wisdom that God actively engages in opening and closing doors in our lives, and these actions serve diverse purposes. At times, it's to safeguard us from potentially harmful paths, ensuring our well-being. Alternatively, closed doors might redirect us toward something more beneficial and aligned with God's plan. When God opens doors, it often beckons us to step beyond our comfort zones, encouraging us to place trust in Him for guidance and summoning the courage needed for the journey. Embracing these moments necessitates relying on God's perfect timing, acknowledging that His plans unfold at the most opportune moments. Therefore, the Bible's teachings highlight the dynamic nature of God's involvement in our lives, guiding us through the opening and closing of doors for our protection, growth, and alignment with His divine purpose. To sum up, the saying, when God closes a door, He opens a window, acts as a continual reminder that God's control over our lives ensures provision according to His divine plan. Even when we confront closed doors and various challenges, it is essential to nurture hope within our hearts. Maintaining this hope serves as a beacon, guiding us through difficult times. Entrusting ourselves to God's overarching plan and actively seeking His guidance become pivotal in navigating the twists and turns of life. By placing our trust in God and staying attuned to His direction, we position ourselves to discover the open windows that await us when faced with closed doors. In essence, this saying encapsulates the enduring belief that God's guidance and provision persist encouraging us to embrace hope and trust in every aspect of our journey. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this and sharing it with fellow Christians seeking a mindful connection with God. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and feel free to leave a comment below to share your thoughts with us. We hope this video on closed doors and open windows has been enlightening for you. Remember to trust in God's plan, have faith, and keep exploring your own faith journey. Stay blessed and see you next time.